Hey guys, so I'm finally here with a chat update, yay! So this chat update is fairly big. As you can tell, it's a bit different now in my scenery, and the, I'm using an iPad to focus. Here's my iPod that I usually film with, but I am using my parents' or my family's iPad, and this is the newest iPad that has retina, which it means it can focus, so... I think it'll be a lot better to catch the quality of the charms and everything. So, yeah, I really hope you'll enjoy this video. So first, I'm going to start with the random stuff. So let's get started. So first, I have this yellow bow. Let it focus for me. So it's just a um, sparkly yellow. I used pearl clay in it. I don't know if you can tell the sparkles though because of my horrible lighting. But um, this was made with extra clay. This is what I made and it's inspired by little surprises. It's the Rilakkuma Key. I messed up the R because I'm not good at cursive so with paint. But this is what it looks like. It's fairly dirty which I don't like. But other than that I really like how bright the color is of this charm. And comment down below if you like the quality like this a lot better than my iPod because my iPod's like very poopy. Next I have this little glow in the dark star. It's very tiny. And I haven't been using glow in the dark clay for a long time. I'm still on my first bar and I never buy any more glow in the dark so I decided to use a little bit with this star. So next I have this Instagram logo, and this is inspired by Katrin or Katrin Kawai. I really like this charm. I have an Instagram, and it's called Mega Candy Eleven. I also have an anime Instagram, which I post Free Watobi Swim Club and others like Madoka Magica and other stuff. And that Instagram is Kawai Anime One Two Three. I'll put the users down below. Um, so this is what it looks like, and some of my friends are asking for this charm, so I might make a couple more. So, you just so you know, and don't be annoyed by... You ha you keep making these charms. And I forgot to put Insta on the um, charm, but oh well. I kind of think it's cute like this, but um, I might make another one and put Insta on it. So, yeah. And then I have this kitty notebook, and this is inspired by... Lilac Sprinkles, her um, pen pen tutorial, yeah. Um, I might make the pen too, but it's a, another kind of dirty charm. It's, mm, it's dirty. I don't like it, but it's textured, and I was bored. I had nothing to make, so I made this little one, and it has a tail. And next I have this lined piece of paper inspired by Lilac, not Lilac Sprinkles, um, little surprises, and my glaze was very bubbly, so it has some air bubbles here, but I'll fix that. I just realized it has air bubbles. I can't really tell because, um, I don't know. But it has some air bubbles there. I guess I can pop them. Yeah, it's <laughs> very weird, and it's for back to school. I don't know if I'm going to put this anywhere for my class, but I guess... That's fine. I'll fix it later on. I have a random rainbow. And I saw this off a charm collection video. And the smile's not the best. It's kind of weird looking. It's derpy. It has a bubble gear again. I don't know what's wrong with my glaze right now. But I use a um, little surprise um, way to fix triple thick. And I really like it. It's a lot smoother. And it doesn't stick as much. So, I really like that. And then I have this Game Boy charm inspired by somebody. I forgot who. But when I do find out, I will try to remember to put an annotation somewhere. If I forget, please tell me because I'm going to be like, yeah, I forget stuff. I use silver clay for the screen and I really like this charm. It's very really tiny as well. Next, I have cakes. So, I have this Malang or Malang cake. 
and it's a carrot cake. And this is also so inspired by somebody. I keep forgetting who makes these tutorials because I never really pay attention. But yeah, there's like glaze there. But I don't really care much about like the whole parts where there's like little stuff here. I don't know if it's going to focus, so. Yeah, I won't focus, though, but there's, like, that gap. Okay, there you can see it. But it's fine. I really like how it turned out. It's really cute. And next I have this Oreo cake inspired by Lila. Little surprises. Sorry, I got mixed up between you guys. Um, You can't really see the texture of the Oreo anymore because it faded away. But it's, it's it looks really funny, and the glaze got on the cookie. But that's fine. All I like is the inside, and the inside I used white granite clay with, and it looks like ice cream. And the cookies and cream, which I really like that kind of ice cream, it tastes really good and yummy. Next, I have this really random cake I made with um randomness that if you guys know me. <laughs> so this is a My Little Pony cake. So I have Fluttershy, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Princess Celestia. And the inside pretty much failed. Um, it got like this weird texture in it. But these are the colors of the ponies inside. But I guess it's a cool effect. And if you're wondering, here's Twilight. I cut her slice out. Mm. I kind of like it. And then I was actually going to cut out Apple Jacks at first, that's why that's that weird indent. But I'm fine with that. It looks like it's about to get cut or something, so it's fine. And then I have two of these. I have this cake that I made, and it's inspired by one of my um, friend's 18 birthdays cake. And um, it's just this blue fondant cake with flowers. So that's the first one I made. And then my aunt ordered one, so I made this one for her. It looks like, I think I got the slices mixed up, but they look the same. And then I have this strawberry cake. It's fine, I guess. The clay got pretty dirty from the red, but, and the bottom too. I used the rubbing alcohol technique, but I guess because the red is inside the clay, it won't come off. And yeah, I used the rubbing alcohol for once. Yay, me! And here's the. Oh, here's the slice. Next, I have this flower cake, and it's very pretty. It's very tiny as well, and I used the TLS mixed with clay technique. I saw that off somebody's video. And then they have this little, not really cheesecake, but it's, it's cake slice. And it's inspired by a sticker that I have. Next, I have some cupcakes. So I have two flat back cupcakes, and these are what they look like. They're pretty much the same, except the tops are different, and they have little cute faces. And I have a bunch of 3D ones. So I have this one. Which I saw off a picture on Instagram, and it's this little catty, kitty, I was about to say cake, sorry, kitty, and it's some pearls and fake pearls in this bow, and it's really cute. And then I have this one, and I guess I can show this one too. I have a mint one with a bow, and the bow is a pearl color, and this one with the strawberry. I really like these kind of cupcakes, they're very cute. <laughs> Next, I have this really cute one inspired by Funky Pink Gal, and I love this charm so much. It's so cute. I don't have like, mm, it's kind of messy, but I really like it. It's pretty impressive for me. I can't make that much of detailed things. And then I have a Corolla Kuma cake, cupcake, sorry. Um, and the nose actually fell off, so I tried to glue it. Well, not glue it back, but. Um, put it back on with glaze, so it's kind of misplaced, and I don't know, but I still really think it's cute, and it's Krillikuma. Who does not like really Krillikuma? And next I have this cupcake, and it's a vanilla frosting with a cherry. And I have this one, which I was going to enter for a contest, but I think it's pretty messy. I don't really think it will be good, and stuff but it's this pastel cupcake with a bunch of pastel colored hearts in it 
And lastly, I have this one, which I also saw a picture on Instagram. And it's this little bunny cupcake. And it's a lot of pastels. And there's a strawberry and a heart. And I really like this charm. It has some, uh, what do they call it, chocolate dripping down as well. And next I have food. So I have this cake roll with a strawberry on top and pink icing. I have a pumpkin, a tiny pumpkin. I have this really failed Rilakkuma. Um, I forgot what kind of tart. I'm not not really a tart, but it's inspired by Kawhi Sweet World. I have this Minnie Mouse cake roll with strawberries in it. I have this Hershey's Kiss, and the tag has a heart on it. It's very sparkly. Oh my goodness! I have two Starbucks. One my cousin ordered, and it's this one. And I have this one, which I just randomly made. Next, I have a popsicle inspired by Super Creative Crafts. I have this macaroon or macaron, however you guys want to pronounce it, and the strawberries inside. I have this pastel colored donut with a bunch of pastel sprinkles. I have this waffle with strawberries on it. And I also have this waffle with butter and syrup on it. I have this pudding. Little tiny pudding. It's so cute. I have a pasta colored lollipop with some pearl. I really like the pearl color with the glaze. This Kurilakuma rice ball. Very tiny. I have this cake roll with a bunch of marshmallows on it. I think... Funky Pink Gal made a tutorial on this. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then I have this Malang or Malang um, bento box inspired by Ninja Cupcake Clays on Sweet Tutorials. I really love how cute this is. It's pretty messy, but I really love it. It takes a long time. And I have a tofu. I have this brownie inspired by Funky Pink Gal as well. Oh, it's not on the camera. Um... And it has nuts on it. I don't know. If, yeah, you can see that. And then it's brownie. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have this sundae. It actually had a cherry, but I have no idea where that cherry went. But I'll try to put a, make another cherry and put it on that. I have this bowl of ice cream. And I'm so sorry, but I forgot who made the tutorial on this. Why? And then it has some pastel colored sprinkles on it and lastly for the food I have this candy apple sorry this, this term of the day it's very long <laughs> um, next I have some animals so I have this penguin and I made the penguin because I am obsessed with free Watobi Swim Club and Nagisa is my favorite character and he's considered a penguin so why not make a penguin even though I think it's a rock hopper penguin that he likes but Whatever. And then they have these two Halloween chimes, and it's Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma in little pumpkins. And I know a bunch of people have tutorials on those, so I won't really call out who said it. And then I have this little dinosaur, and it was, like, really random. <laughs> I have this flatback pusheen, and I saw this off a picture on Instagram, and he's a little barn of yarn. Ball. Barn? ball of yarn and I have this little mamagoma it's very dirty you do not know how many times I had to redo this mamagoma so it's very dirty I gave up so I also tried the rubbing alcohol when it come but actually this is for food I'm very sorry I'm mistaken this for an animal but it's a bear cookie inspired by Tony Elson I have a Pikachu which I guess you can say is an animal Pikachu I have this Rilakkuma, and I have a little stuffed bear. The bear is inspired by pudding fish cakes, and I just have the plain old Rilakkuma that everybody loves. I have this Pusheen School Pusheen, inspired by put, um, yeah, pudding fish cakes, lilac sprinkles. And I have this little mask with some cheese, inspired by a picture I saw on Instagram. And I have this um, figurine of Rilakkuma on a floaty. It has an R there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's an R. And next I have some My Little Ponies. 
And you've seen this before, but I finally finished it, and it's Princess Cadence. And this is what she looks like. Here's the final product. And I made a lot more. So I made the main six. So I have Fluttershy. They all have their cutie marks. Applejack. And this one is a double-sided one. I have Twilight. The cutie marks over here. I have Pinkie Pie. She has a big nose. <laughs> I have Rainbow Dash, which my mom asked for because my mom loves Rainbow Dash. Yeah. And Rarity, which I think she looks very, very cute for some reason. She's the tiniest out of all of them. And I just find she's so adorable. <laughs> Next, lastly, I have Chibis. Yay for Chibis. I have a lot of Chibis, which this charm thing is going to take for air. But anyways, let's get started. So I remade Haru, because I had a little accident with my old Haru. I was making a chibi, and I took him as a sample, and his hair got white. So I remade Haru, Chan, Desu, that, yeah, blah, yeah. And then I, re I made this Goldilocks, inspired by putting fish kicks. So sparkly. I made two flat pack charms that are girls. I have... This one, which is supposed to be me in a hoodie and skirt with leggings and shoes, yay. And I have this chibi, which I actually was only going to be a head. But then I decided to add a body, because it looked very weird as a head. I have this chibi inspired by lilac sprinkles, I think. Yeah. And then I have this chibi, which is inspired by an anime. I only watched the first episode, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the anime is called. I'm not a huge fan of it. And then I have some random chibis. I have these two. Actually, I have three random chibis. Oh, it won't focus. Oh, no. Here we go. Focus for me. Here are the chibis. And I have one more. Here's the other one. And now I have chibis based off animes. Yeah, I'm pretty much a geek in animes. Um, so I have... I've been watching Doki Doki Pretty Cure, so I have Cure Heart, and these are like one of my most detailed chibis I've made, and she got pretty dirty, but I'm not remaking her, she took so much clay. I have Cure Diamond, which is my favorite. Cure Rosetta, she's one of my other favorites, but yeah. Cure Sword. Her head. <laughs> She's like the tiniest. <laughs> and then I don't want to mean a spoiler. Oh my goodness. But uh, Cure Ace. I am so sorry. If you guys haven't watched it. But I made Cure Ace. I only watched the first five episodes. And I've been spoiled. So. <laughs> and then I made some more. Free Watobi Swim Club charms. So I remade Go-chan. Go-chan. Ko-chan whatever you guys want to call her, and she has her legs! Yay! And then I made the flat back versions of all of them. So I made Nagisa, which is my favorite character with a little penguin. I'm definitely going to be wearing this to, like, an anime convention or something, if I ever can. Um, and then I have Makoto with a killer whale. I have Rin, and he lost his legs, so... I made a pair of legs, and I will save you, Rin. I will put back your legs. And he has a shark that looks like a walrus. <laughs> I have Ray, and he has his glasses this time. And he has a butterfly. I was going to put it here, but he looked like a girl, so I didn't do that. <laughs> and lastly, I have Haru with a dolphin. So, thank you so much for watching this channel update. I'm sorry it took, like, almost 20 minutes to make, but... I really hope you enjoy this. I've been working on this batch for a very long time, and I've been caught up with school and everything, but I really hope I can make more time updates now. And, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!